Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, we're going to be turning this batch of soil into a potting mix with a few essential ingredients that we're going to learn about in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. For the base in this mix, it's actually our homemade compost that we make and sell right here at Lumber Capital Log Yard. This stuff has been decomposed quite a bit. In fact, at this point, you can't really call it compost. It's soil at this point. It's been, you know, stirred quite a bit for maybe this is like two years old now. Um, so it's some really good stuff lots and lots of worms as always but today we're going to be adding in the stuff that makes it really potting soil and so i have a few ingredients i have to go up and get they're a little bit too heavy to carry all the way down here once we do that we'll add it in and talk about everything this already has a nitrogen base which is really an essential part of what makes your plants grow so because it already has it in there, I'm not going to worry about adding nitrogen today. Um, the soil is very full of it. So that's just because our compost is very rich in nitrogen as well. Um, all right, well, let's go up and grab that stuff and get our hands a little bit dirty. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, we actually added some beneficial nematodes to this batch. I love putting those little guys in the potting soil specifically. That just makes sure that there's no harmful bugs. We are specifically worried about grubs and um, any kind of fungus. So we actually got beneficial nematodes that were specifically for that. And they have had plenty of time to do their work before we add in the other stuff and offer it for sale. So there might be some little dead guys in there. If we ever see, if we ever come across, you know, a grub or something, it actually has this whole chart on the website about like how to tell if they're dead or not. It's pretty interesting. Um, I was looking at it <laughs> as I was adding it and um, they're just such a cool, natural way to make sure that there's nothing in your soil that could be harmful. What a great alternative to pesticides. So we have two bags of uh, perlite and two bags of peat moss to add today and I'm not too happy that I wasn't able to get a hold of coconut core. I like using that a lot more than peat moss because it's much more sustainable. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to come by in my town. <laughs> so we have peat moss. It's premier peat moss. This is what's going to add your acidity to the soil, which a lot of plants need to thrive. And the perlite, of course, is for water retention. This is what we have as far as perlite goes. We have two bags of that, that should be enough. And then we also have a secret ingredient to add later here. All right, let's add these in. And then we can continue here. All right. So we are going to just dump all of it in, not worry about mixing it up too good because then at the end, we will stir it with the bucket. I think that the skeleton bucket works pretty good for sifting. Now, another thing I didn't mention is that this pile has also been sifted through with the sifter that my grandpa made that's right beside it here. It's quite a setup. <laughs> Just take a look. But yeah, somehow we were able to sift all the stones out of it using that device. Um, I'm not too accustomed to it yet. And it actually gave us a really nice, consistent soil with no lumps in it, which I really like. It's a lot better than the years previous. Okay, that is a lot of perlite. Ah, oh, 
plastic. Boy, do I hate plastic. Everything comes in a freaking plastic bag. Ah, uh, well, we'll survive, I guess. Our children might not, but so what, right? Woo, it's like snow in the summertime. Okay, that's kind of dumb, but. I see why that stuff holds so much water. Now for our favorite peat moss. So now some people say to wet this stuff down before you add it, um, partly because it's just easier to stir in. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just gonna skip that step today because I don't think that it's really important. I think we'll be able to stir it up really good with the tractor. Ooh. This stuff might not be sustainable, but man, does it make plants grow. Holy cow. Ah, oh, come on guys, making soil is fun. We get to play with dirt. Dirt instead of wood. And now for the secret ingredient, we are going to be using some kelp. Okay, this stuff, man, this stuff is some of my favorite. It's kind of pricey, definitely pricey, but boy, does it make your plants happy. This contains vital nutrients for your plants. And it's completely natural, it's seaweed. Kelp specifically. We're just going to add in quite a bit here. Have a big bag of this, this stuff was pretty expensive. But I'm not going to put in just a tiny bit. I'm gonna try and really get a lot in here because I want this batch to be great. Wow, I am so pleased with how this turned out. I think that this is probably the best potting soil I've made so far. I just love how much time our compost base got to decompose. I think that that's a real key when you are literally making your own soil from scratch, okay? Every part of this soil has been made from scratch. Isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below with any questions or ideas and opinions. We like to hear them. Other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.